offshore, the underwater work is done with remote operated vehicles, or ROVs, from pipe laying to heavy lifting. And that requires a lot of different ROVs and people who can operate them. In this warehouse is a simulation tank built just for offshore personnel to train on ROVs. It's driving school for robot jockeys. Here, they simulate projects that will take place offshore. It takes special tactile skills to maneuver a crane arm from 1,000 meters away. Multiple cameras allow the operators to see the action. After the intense training with the ROVs, they're sent offshore, where the stakes are high and it's no longer a game. There are no second chances. This is the Pipeline End Termination Unit, or PLET, a big machine for one simple task. It connects the underwater template, or gas well, to the Orman Lang pipeline. But it's never that simple. At 35 meters long and 30 meters wide, this 350-ton device is being lowered the 1,000 meters to the sea floor. Now that the plet is on the sea floor, they assemble its components. Called modules, these components make the crucial connection between the template and the pipeline that feeds gas to Nihomna. All the connections at this depth are made with ROVs. But they can't do any of this work without first testing the systems. Thomas Burnt is the subsea manager. We are testing and testing and testing here. And uh, when we leave this hole, we are 100% sure that this connection will be tight when we come offshore. There won't be any leakage. A leakage offshore at 850 meters with large volumes of gas is a disaster, which we have to avoid. They practice lowering the modules and testing the connections, which will be handling 70 million cubic meters of gas each day. They're training with an exact replica of the one that's on the sea floor. It's a large investment, but money well spent. Surrounding the connection module is a steel cage that protects it from stray objects that could drop off the drill ships and fishing trawlers. When the gas exits the field, the steel pipe expands. A little bit of expansion is okay. But the reason they're going to this much trouble is they expect the Orman Lang pipeline to expand along its entire length by as much as one meter. And that's enough to rip it apart. So they've solved this by using a connector that slides back and forth on rails. It absorbs the pipe's movement and keeps the gas flowing. 